people. How you guys doing? Uh. Oh crap, I'm not set up yet. Oh boy. Uh. Hang on, hang on. We're almost there. Do this real quick. All right, all right. Then we're good. Change that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I think we're good. What's up, people? <clears throat> um, let's get started nice and quick tonight because there is many things to be done. Uh, I'm behind on in, in every sense of the word. So, dearest at Marvel Champions. <laughs> um. Uh, Halloween may be over, but my marathon of, uh, of the Monster Mash is not. P.S. I am now live. Alright, Halloween may be over, but my marathon of the Monster Mash is not. They did the mash. It was a graveyard smash. Sweet. Okay. What's going on, everybody? Brian, word equals Kamaleka. Ah, yes. The It's also a noun. It's uh, the Kamaleka Islands. Uh, also known as... This is... A lot of people don't know this star, uh, but the Kamaleka Islands, they... <clears throat> are, they're also known as um, Australia. It's the... People thought that uh, Kamaleka sounded too much like uh, like Kamala Khan, basically, and they were like, no. No, no, no. We gotta change this name. So, uh, it was changed. The, the Kamaleka Islands was changed to Australia um, back in 2004 a long time ago so a lot of people aren't aware of that but yeah that's that's Kamaleka yeah um I got a lot of friends from there that still refer to it as that but uh I mean you, oh, you should see the looks people get it's disgusting really uh real deal did you just send over two bucks you did just send over two bucks hang on hold up hold up you know what's coming don't you real deal uh, your comment says mm 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 slap <laughs> slap um, <laughs> real deal thank you very much for the two bucks dude I appreciate it man uh, thank you thank you thank you uh, hashtag tiny home for your tiny dot 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 Panaman Pete what are you trying to get at what up, though, everybody? Uh, Tycron first one in here, followed by DZ. We got Renee in here, Aces the Pug, Fitz, Jay Divine. What the fudge is up, bra guy? What the fudge is up, Jay Divine? Uh, Nihao Thailand in here, Football Legend, Star, Chess Dart, Arrow Inc. What up, guys? Jaden, Nina Chaw, Burrito Man. Hello, BG, my cable vid making friend. Hello. What's up, Hinach? Uh. What is up? What is alright? Let me scroll this down. The mmm was solid. Little light on the slap though. Well, it's it's one. It's a little bit of a. Sometimes the softer touches. I don't know if I have to tell you, but anyway. Uh, ooh, cutoffs. We need cutoffs before I can do anything else. Uh, so Venom the Duck. I don't know what he went for. I think somebody in my alliance put up like thirty-six million, and I think they got like. 135 rank or something like that. So, I mean, he definitely went up, which, honestly, Venom the Duck is a beast of a champion, guys. I, I so badly wish that I got Venom the Duck as a five-star, man. S huge regret not grinding that guy the first round. Huge, huge, huge. Uh, it was 36 mil for 137. Okay, okay. I think I got Emma Frost, node 12. Uploaded me taking down a rank 5 three days ago on same node. He, he, he. Nice, Hector. I actually had I had an Emma Frost in the offseason on node 12, which really was not, not too bad at all. I just fought a Black Bolt on node 12, actually, which was not bad. But, man, those special ones, I feel like if I got zapped by a special one, I probably would have got one shot as a, a six star. Um, but yeah, I hate your luck on a Colt Lab. Labs nodes, but I still like you, so it's okay. 
Well, okay then. <laughs> um, all right. Let's see. So it's no longer Venom the Duck. It is Guillotine. Uh, and we're going to put her at a 29 million. Let's say 29 million. I don't know what she's going to go for. Let's say 29 mil. Four star. Uh, six. Is that too high? Let's go. F let's go five and a half. Uh, three star is going to go for about 700k. And four star. Uh, cap. Beard. Beardo is going to go for, uh, let's say 3. Let's say 3.3 .3 million. Uh, as always, though, guys, these these are purely just guesses. I'm going based off of past history, uh, general hype for the champion, how old the champion is, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But at the end of the day, it's just a guess. Please go higher. Please go higher if uh, if you're going for any of these champions. Okay. Um, we got a couple more super chats here. SLF, did you send over eight Canadian? Dude, we're talking we're talking four toonies or quite possibly three toonies and a couple of loonies. Saying should I rank up four star Sentinel to rank five or Ultron? I would go with Sentinel, 100%, dude. Uh, Ultron, I like Ultron. He's an old favorite of mine. I'm a I'm a fan of the Ultrons. However. Um uh Sentinel he's he's a monster. Uh if if Sentinel was around, if Sentinel was in the game when I was uh uh professing my love of Ultron, I would have never I would have been like Ultron who? <laughs> Screw Ultron. Uh cuz Sentinel, yeah, he's he's the new he's the new big robot in town as far as I'm concerned. Uh he is he's a monster. He's a monster. Uh, dude, thank you very much for the eight Canadian. I appreciate it. Uh, William Spy is also sent over two bucks saying, B. Daniels loves science dungeons. Oh, no. What happened in the science dungeons? Uh-oh. <laughs> what happened in the in the science dungeons? Uh, yeah, and since her sig ability scales to no it helps, she never triggers her ice armor when you hit her for big crits. Uh, yeah, it's true. No, it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that can be pretty annoying in the note for sure. Beaver, what happened to your gorgeous fluffy hair? I I put the bald cap back on. It's back on. Ooh, ooh, wait. Heard of someone missing five seven the duck with thirty three million? Ouch. That's rough. Uh, and Kamaleka, uh, a waterproof shirt made of intestines of seal or walrus. What the hell? Okay. Um, oh, that's weird. I don't know. I mean, I mean, I guess it's not that weird if you think about like how other clothes are made. But I don't know. Oh, it just sounds weird. That sounds super weird. <laughs> I'm wearing. Yes, I'm wearing my my uh, my Kamaleka. If you're not familiar, it's a uh, uh, seal intestine. <laughs> like what the hell? That's kind of weird though. All right. Anyway, uh, I really need to. I need to get I need to get into here. Uh, I need to get into some gameplay here, man. I'm I'm far behind in the arenas. Uh, uh, if I'm going for a guillotine, I'm way far behind. Check this out. I only have eight rounds done, so this is really not good. Um, I gotta hop in these other arenas too, man. Ugh, not a good dude. These the art. Sometimes the art really. Uh, it, it it speaks to me, guys. It moves me. The, like the art on the uh, the little thumbnail thing for for each arena, like this this guillotine art, man. I like it a lot. I don't know. It's like simple. She's just holding her sword, but it's just the textures of it. It's all, it's all nice. I I sound like I'm high right now. The textures on guillotine's sword. It's uh, awesome. <laughs> Uh, oh, Brag, I just pick up your invulnerability boost. No, I, I did not. I saw you post something about it right as I was going live. Dude, that's that's freaking awesome. That's so awesome. Invulnerability boost. Oh, baby. Dude, I feel comfortable with this season now that I have one of these in the overflow. Because we got we got we we saw the invulnerability in the store not long ago. And now that I have one in the overflow, oh, dude. I feel good. I feel real good. It's going BG. What up, PCP? What's up, man? 
I don't think I've seen you in a little while. Uh, update to my profile. Uh, all right, Kieran, real quick, man, real quick. I uh, can't be looking at profiles all day here, man. Got to get into that arena like I'm saying. Uh, real, real quick. Uh, did I spell it wrong? I did spell it wrong. I put the I, the I before E, duh. Uh, see, this is why I don't look up profiles, man. Oh my god, did I spell it wrong again? Where? Oh, oh, it just, uh, I didn't, I didn't realize because the, <laughs> the, that, that guy was at the top. I, I, I looked... It just looked like a like a one star champion, which of course it is a one star champion. But uh, which one is the update? Is it is it Senior Blade here? Is it Mr. Blade? Uh, congratulations, dude. Uh, all right, let me hit the arena. Uh, the art always looks great. Kabam does a really great job with the art. Uh, I borrowed a couple for backgrounds. Yeah, dude, they they kill it whenever it comes to art for sure. They definitely do. Uh, ABG had a rusty start uh, today, uh, but Path 7 clear, no potions or deaths, had Modok on Buffet, uh, then Infinity Man times 2, Cody, nice dude. Hell of a start to the season, very nice, very, very nice. Uh, yeah, sadly, caught up with uh, work a lot, but yeah, I definitely think you're high. <laughs> yeah, man, I, I don't blame you, I don't blame you. BG, you're going to change your in-game profile pick, no. No, I'm going to leave my profile pick the same as it's always been. Uh, hey, bro, how are you? I church past a blaster. What's up, man? Haven't seen you in a little while either. Hopefully everything's good in your world. Uh, if you got a desk that uh, can raise, you could stand for being high. What? Um, hold on. Where? I was looking for Hector. So someone posted saying Omni member stole an alliance on Reddit. I talked to the guy, apparently OG owner got perma on all his accounts, got fraud units, and was going to keep using fraud units. Wait, hold on, what? Uh, how many members stole an alliance? Uh, Alright, well, I have no idea what you're talking about really, but okay. <laughs> I was going to say, okay. You know I like to stay out of the drama, man. I don't even, I don't even want to know. Don't even want to know. Uh, Leon Richards sent it over two bucks saying which mutant which mutant needs six stones most uh, Leon thank you very much for the two bucks there's a few mutants that need six stones uh, I don't know if there is a way to be like oh this one needs it more than another or like like the most out of all of them but uh, we'll start with this we'll start with Archangel it's good to get Archangel's signature ability up to a 33.34% Ability accuracy reduction this way, as soon as you have three neurotoxins, you know you're guaranteed to be shutting down their abilities completely. Um, it's not required that you do that. It's not that big of a deal if you if you don't feed him six stones, but that's just nice. Uh, Omega Red, his damage output kind of uh, is, is, is pretty lacking without his Awaken ability, and if you don't give him the six stones to beef up his Awaken ability, then yeah, his damage output really does suffer. Um... Uh, Emma Frost is another great uh, champion to feed them six stones too because uh, uh, hang on let me throw in some more fun champions here yeah let me get this guy in let me get this guy in. there we go uh, so Emma Frost yeah Emma Frost is a good champion to, to sig up not only does she have killer prestige but uh, uh, I like the, the safety that her awakened ability brings if you have her high sig level she becomes a pretty safe option um, Domino, I don't know how her, her awakening ability scales, but a lot of her defensive potential comes from that uh, unavoidable damage from her, uh, her awakening ability. Um, am I forgetting anybody? I feel like that's it, because Iceman doesn't really need a high sig level. Um... Uh, the Wolverines, I don't think they need high sig levels, do they? I guess Sabertooth, Sa you know what, Sabertooth on defense, uh, if he doesn't have high sig level, then his, his healing is, like, worthless. But at high sig level, then it could actually be, uh, enough to, to, like, shut somebody down. Plus, he also has killer prestige. So, yeah, I would, I'd say, it's, it's about it. 
as far as like the champions that need it more. Of course, every champion you want to have like high sig level, but uh, I feel like just those need uh, uh, I feel like need those ones need it more. Uh, thank you again for the for the two bucks. Uh, speaking of Omega Red, we're twinsies, Kate. I saw that dude. I saw it. I uh, was hanging on your stream. I had it on in the background until I had to go do some AWs. Uh, she should never sword because I have it. Oh yeah, yeah sword. Uh, I got wrecked a Modok in room three with unblockable finale and chaos. Chaos gave him unstoppable three times in a row with some horrible RNG for sure, dude. I hate Modok and I hate chaos. <laughs> like those nodes, uh, or that node is just so hard to deal with. And yeah, especially on top of a Modok. Ugh, dude. That sounds pretty brutal. That sounds brutal, dude. Absolutely brutal. Uh, I got Omega Red from Featured yesterday. Nice, dude. Congrats on your Omega Red. He is pretty beastly. Uh, I so need Act 6 in my life. I know. We all need Act 6 in our lives. What's the best way to avenge... Uh, or, or average out. I don't know why I was saying avenge. I was like, avenge who? Who are we avenging? What's the best way to average out your arena grinds? Like, if you need... Uh, if you needed to put so much per run in your grind so you can push for the arena you're running for? Uh, I don't know if I understand exactly what you're saying. Um, yeah, I don't know. Oh, who did this? Put Infinity Man and, and a, uh, Heimdall on the same team like this. What a jerk. Uh, I, I'm not sure, I'm not sure I understand exactly what you're saying, Tim. You you just gotta I don't know try to try to run your your top champions when you can uh, if you're trying to hit a certain score say you're trying to hit five million or something like that uh, well let's say six million just for an even number here to work with say you're trying to hit six million in the arena and of course you know you got to hit like two million per day um, you know something like that you can kind of break it down into s smaller groups. Uh, if you're running all your five stars or something, then you know you're trying to hit like uh, 667,000 uh, per like like three times a day type of thing. But yeah, I don't. Maybe I'm misunderstanding the question, but that's that's all I got about that. Uh, BGE, were the Cyber Monday deals good last year? I seem to remember the ones for units being pretty disappointing. Yeah, they're pretty weak, but I think they're going to be good this year. I think we were just at a weird place last year where Tier 2 Alpha w was like the highest reward, but it, it wasn't like super hard to come by. Like it was pretty hard to get, but like we were, we had kind of started getting them and everything. So it wasn't super compelling. I think this year they're going to offer Tier 5 Basic. I'm almost positive of it. And uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a huge boost to uh, accounts that, that pick up the offer pretty much. But we'll see. Uh, you know, it could, it could suck. Who knows? I kind of hope it sucks because I'm not going to be able to get it. So, yeah. Uh, Mr. Grant, I am but casual player on Contest Champion. My highest player is 3-star Beardo, 3-star Magnus. Is that uh, Magnus? Medusa or something? 4-star uh, Scent and Magic. Uh, nice, dude. You've got a, you've got a, some good 4-stars uh, there. Uh, keep, keep on going, man. Keep on going. I started out ex pretty damn casual myself. The first seven months of this game was just an alliance with like three other buddies of mine. We didn't even do alliance quest, or we, we kind of did alliance quest, but we couldn't even complete map one most times with our single battle group, and yeah, it was pretty casual for quite a while. The rewards still come in, uh, just a little bit slower. BG Awaken in rank 5, Sparky or Medusa, I've already got Blade at rank 5. Thoughts? Uh, I mean, if you have Blade at rank 5, then yeah, I would say Stark Spidey. I mean, they just pair up so well together. Plus, Medusa and Blade, they kind of cover similar territories with, uh, 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 you know, ha having like some, some bleeds in their toolkits and stuff like that. It's like, yeah, I would, I would go Stark Spidey with that higher burst damage when needed. BG, who do I rank for next? OG Vision, 665, don't have a good double immune. Don't use him, or don't use much in war, but I have SIG 200, rank 4 Beardo on the bench. Uh, OG Spidey, no one has rank 4 in the BG. Uh, Unduped Killmonger, Unduped Sentinel. Um, 
Man, OG Spidey's honestly still a pretty good defender. Throw him on no 12, he can be pretty annoying. Uh, oh man, though. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I'm kind of a fan of, of OG Spidey. I don't know if you can spare some rank of materials just for a defender, but I actually like OG Spidey. It kind of, I guess it kind of depends on his SIG level, too. I think if he's low SIG level, then eh, he's just okay as a defender, but if he's high SIG level, then he's actually uh, pretty good. He's actually pretty good. Alright, I am way scrolled up here though, guys. I gotta scroll this on down a little bit. Uh, power's been out for the last two hours. Damn, dude. That sucks. Uh, I got 1.8 million in one run going for tier 4 basic today and realized I'm lazy because I don't want to run arena. I think that makes me a bad person. <laughs> Doesn't make you a bad person, man. You don't want to play arena? You don't play arena. It's no big deal. Uh, let me put some more fun champions in here, man. Let's go. Mm. Let's go. Let's go, Archangel. Let's go. There we go. Magnus is Magneto. Oh, is that what it is? Okay. All right. I did not know. How many tier five basics uh, you think? Uh, oh, I I don't. I think we're gonna get like one. There's no way that they would uh, sell two. Uh, I I couldn't see it at least. I would, I would hope not, man. Like two is a little bit much. Uh, it would, it would create a pretty big divide. Like, like one is already uh, a little bit dividing in itself, but it's not that big of a deal. You know, it just puts people like a little bit ahead. But two of them, oh man, getting a, a, a an extra rank five over everyone else who doesn't pick it up, like that's a bit much. Like that's the thing is people sometimes complain about the offers not being good enough. Um, but if they're too good, then it just it, it 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 forces people to have to spend, or they're screwed, um, and that's kind of the situation that that would be. So they gotta they gotta balance it out. They gotta balance it out. They gotta make it good enough to uh, have value for people, but not make it so that it's like a mandatory must buy. Except for like the alliances that are going for like rank one. Then yeah, I'm sure most of them are like yeah, no no, you're buying it. That's it. <laughs> you know. Dicer, what's up, dude? Um, still casual, four basic, uh, slash three star done, four star feature done, five star feature three million. Jesus, drop faith. What the hell, dude? <laughs> what the hell? Me, do you think, uh, do you think will be feature crystal for five star Scarlet Witch? No, they said at Comic Con, Scarlet Witch is still, like, a little too powerful, probably. Uh, then again, you never know, man, because I'm sure they'd make a killing off it, so, yeah. Oh, he's fighting a 660, but I can put another 20 in him. Uh, to be honest, I don't even know how he scales. But all I know is, is like he's a pretty good defender, and OG Spidey is the type of defender that's going to last for a while. Uh, I feel, um, like he—he's he's not always going to get you kills either. He's not like super OP mega defender or something like that, right? But he—he'll—he'll he'll pick up some kills from time to time. Um, but uh, he's going to last because if you look at other champions. Like, let's say you wanted to take a Nightcrawler to rank 4. Well, I mean, Nightcrawler is, is a 6-star. So eventually someone in your battle group is going to pull Nightcrawler. Uh, and then... Um, uh, when that happens, that's instantly going to be better than any 455 Nightcrawler could be. Just because his stats are a little bit higher and he doesn't need to be awakened. So, um, yeah, I feel like certain champions are going to retain their value longer as 5 stars, and champions that rely on their signature abilities are, you know, those champions, basically. Um, so yeah, OG Spidey is, for a very long time to come, going to be better as a 5 star than a 6 star. Um, I, I, I think I've kind of gotten lucky with, with one of my rank ups here of uh, Black Panther Civil War, where he's not available as a 6 star, because that'd be another one where like he'd, he'd be instantly better as a 6 star, since he doesn't really need to, need to be awakened. But uh, because he's not available as a six star, uh, my five star still reigns supreme. Uh, but eventually, I know they're gonna bring that guy back too. So Brian, they announced new character for Smash Bros today, and I found a new main, the Piranha Plant. No way, dude! What? They're adding the Piranha Plant? <laughs> oh my god! What the hell, dude? Dude, they just keep throwing characters into that game like crazy. Holy crap. 
Yeah, that's pretty awesome though. I haven't heard that. <laughs> I haven't heard that one yet. Link tier 5 basics should be unit base and 6 star shards and unit stores. I think that's fair. Uh, yeah, I, I, think it's, I think it's fair. I think it's fair if they have the tier 5 basic for, for units. Uh, I think they're going to do an awakening gem for... Probably like an awakening gem plus 6 star shards or something like that for, for money or, or something. I don't know. Uh, Michael Thompson sending over 11 bucks saying, Hey BG, I'm enjoying the stream teaching everyone. Dude, Michael, thank you very much for the very generous 11 bucks. Glad you're uh, enjoying it, dude. Thank you very much. Let me go ahead and update the big old D with your name on it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, what do you think about the tier 2 alpha deal? That's yeah, for money, isn't it? I, 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 it's nothing I can really say about money offers, guys. It all depends on how much money you make. Some people make uh, like a thousand dollars in like an hour, you know. So for those people, it's it's pocket change. Every single one of these deals for money is pocket change. Other people, you know, uh, uh, might take them uh, an entire week to save up uh, an extra ten dollars outside of what they have to save for like bills and stuff like that. So of course, for someone like that, then no, you 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 want to stay away from all the offers. So yeah, it just depends on your own unique financial situation and what you uh, what you need, where you're at in the game, and that kind of thing. Uh, are you jealous of the Piranha Plant? I am jealous of the Piranha Plant. Yeah, they had a Piranha Plant before Wild Luigi, dude. They, have they still not announced him? He's he's got to be. He's got to be in the game, man. He has to be. Um, they gotta just be trolling everybody. Uh, I know it just makes me think I could take 12 hours a week roughly and get uh, 2k 5 star shards no problem and yet here I am still not playing arena and watching you play arena back to last night living vicariously. <laughs> yeah man I get it dude. I get it. I, there's, dude I mean I look at I look at all these rewards too and I just watch them go by you know. Uh, I've made those videos where yeah it's, it's honestly not that hard to, to get like 7,000, 8,000, even 9,000 units uh, a month. Um, now that they added this this fifth arena, you know, with with just the first four arenas, it was already like 7,000 a month. Now, yeah, you can you can get like 9,000 units a month or something. Um, uh, just by hitting those milestones, which it's not it's not that bad. It's really not that bad, but it is still time consuming. It does still take effort, and yeah, there's no way that I am realistically going to do that every single time. So yeah. Uh, or even come close. Dude, if I was still running suicides, I feel like I would be, uh, I've, I, man, like, that, that's when I was gaining the most units. Is that when I had suicides on, I was running arena like crazy. But without suicides, it's just, it's not as enjoyable. Uh, ABG, I can't wait to pay money to have Wolverine freaking claws my profile pick. That's pretty cool, man, that's pretty cool. ABG, how much did Medusa help you in Labyrinth, and why did you rank her to rank 5? Preference or needed? Uh, well, I finished Labyrinth 100% before we could even rank 5 a, a character period in this game, so uh, Medusa did not help me at all in, uh, in Labyrinth. I, I, uh, that thing was already done with before Medusa, uh, before I had her, so yeah. Um, but I ranked 5 her because she's awesome. I love Medusa. Uh, she's uh, super powerful. Uh, my favorite champion used in the entire game, and she's a great defender. So, like, I knew I wasn't going to use her forever offensively, um, but I knew that when I was done using her offensively, I could just throw her on defense, and she'd be good to go there. She was also like by far my best option at the time too. I didn't. I, st I mean, I still don't have Blade as a five star. Stark Spidey, he's cool and everything, but. I, I'm not that good with fighting with Stark Spidey, and I didn't have Void either, so, yeah. Uh, anyways, I actually have to do this homework, and you're too entertaining. I must mute you. I'm sorry. All right, Panda Man Pete. You probably can't hear me saying this, but good, good. Do your homework. Good, good, good. Um, Brian, if you were to convert the offer to units, uh, what are your thoughts then? Uh, oh, man. I... I don't know. All right, let me let me go take a look. Let me go take a look. I'll see if I can come up with something. But I, uh, I generally like like tier two alpha. Uh, I I I don't know. I don't know how much I, I value them just because we get them from like alliance quest uh, on the regular. Like it's still it's still awesome to get them. But uh, okay, all right. So which it's the one on the left here. 
Uh, oh, well, Jesus, you get 150 of these of these uh, Tier 5 Class Catalyst Fragment Crystals? That's a lot of value right there if you need Class Catalyst, because that's what, that's the equivalent of 3 uh, Tier 4 Class Catalyst, right? Because it's 50, 50 of those uh, to equal 36,000 uh, Fragments. So you're essentially getting 4 Class Catalyst Crystals. If you need those things, then I value those pretty highly. Um... You know, we're talking maybe like 500 units of pop or something like that. Uh, I mean, c could could even be higher, but it's it's hard to it's hard to like if you're not getting these things, then yeah, they're super valuable. Probably even higher than 500 units of pop. But you get to a certain point where it's like, uh, how do you give it more value than that? You know, so like tier four basic and tier four class colors, I don't consider them to be that big of a gap between. Uh, like the value and stuff. Does Kabam Mike have Twitter? He does not, not not publicly at least, not that, uh, not with like the Kabam Mike tag on it. Maybe maybe like his personal one or something. Uh, okay, and and tier two alpha. What do you get? Fifty four thousand plus the eighteen thousand. So two of those, right? Uh, I don't know what I value those things at. Uh. Two tier four or, or two yeah two tier two alpha um oh, I don't know uh I would say see I've never really given these things a price before because it's 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 one of those it's one of those resources that's like it's it's constantly changing you know like like tier four basic and tier one alpha. I feel like they don't change that much. Like, we, we, we need them in kind of high quantities to rank up all of our champions, but they're accessible and they've been that way for a long time. Tier 2 Alpha is a little bit different because, you know, Kabam has been making them more and more accessible uh, as of late, so... Yeah, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Let's just say like a thousand units of pop on those things or something. So yeah, like two thousand units worth. Uh, and then, if you need the class catalyst, then we're talking like another essentially like two thousand units. Uh, the tier one alpha. Uh, uh, I usually value those things at like seventy units these days, something like that. Anywhere between like seventy and eighty units, depending on how much you need them. So. Yeah, that's basically what I'd value it at, value it as. Uh, David Garcia sent it over two bucks, saying, "Who do you think is the best champ right now?" Uh, well, I never think that there's one best champ in the game. It's just, it's always it's always uh, this game is a big game of rock paper scissors. You wanna you wanna bring the right tool for the job rather than just use uh, one champion for everything. Um, so yeah, there is no one best champion. I think some of the best though. Uh, Cor I mean, Corvus, he's, he's, he's just so hot right now. Uh, Blade, still really good. Stark Spidey, still really good. Void, Ghost, um, yeah, I mean, those are like the offensive best ones. I mean, Magic, OG Vision, forgetting about the power control peoples. Uh, yeah, I don't know. There's, 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 there's so many bests. There is no one best. Uh, but dude, thank you very much for the uh, for the two bucks. I appreciate it. Sentinel, Sent Man, forgot about him. Uh, our old friend Emma. Uh, see, it, it 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 like you talk about things like like do I think Omega Red's the best in the game? No, but I think he's the best in the game against Biohazard. So you know st stuff like that. ABG, what masteries are you running right now? I'm running the same masteries that I uploaded in uh, my Season 3 mastery video. I don't want to go through it all right now. I really need to stay on top of the unit grind, but it's the exact same build. Uh, I go into great detail about uh, all of the uh, reasons behind uh, the choices for that build. So yeah, it's exactly point for point what I'm currently running. Uh, well, they are the best in their jurisdiction at, uh, what they, uh, what they do, Star. What is, wait, what does Star say? They're a race, oh, are you guys going pun for pun or something like that? What are you guys doing? <laughs> what in the world? Uh, Iceman or Blade, five star to rank five? I, it's 
personal preference, but I think uh, there's... I think Blade is, in the general sense, probably the better way to go, but if there's already a lot of Blade users in your battle group or something like that, you might want to diversify and rank up a different champion. But he's got higher prestige. Better, uh... Better for most situations, too. Can you make uh, an updated list slash video of champs that are worthy of taking to rank 5? Um... I kind of wanted to do something like that a while ago, Nick. It's, I mean, it's on the list of, of videos that I'd like to make, but uh, it's not it's 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 not it's not gonna happen anytime soon, unfortunately. I'm just I'm still so focused on uh, on this this whole imaginary website thing. Like the progress I'm making ever since I stopped uh, uploading videos. Uh, it's been really good. It's been really good. I don't want to deter that. It's one of the reasons why I'm not going for guillotine right now. Is like, dude, I'd love to go. I'd love to grind for guillotine. Um, new champion, not gonna go that high. I need more mystic champions in my roster. Uh, I think she's really cool. I think she's fun to use. Even if I'm only gonna use her in arena, I enjoy using her in the arena. Uh, and I could, I could get her just running my five and six star champions plus my like maxed out uh, four star champions it wouldn't be that time consuming but it would still be time consuming enough that um, that I, I uh, even still I, I can't do it so uh, I need to go to a different arena actually I need to go to the different arena Iceman is the best against biohazard disagree I disagree what do you think about little Joe's criticism uh, criticisms on MCUC being a time suck and about him leaving the game uh, well, I I saw that he posted videos. I didn't see uh, I didn't actually see them myself, but uh, I know he's had some some problems with the with the game on like a personal level for a while. So I understand. Um, I think he had like a, a, a I think he was facing a, a serious uh, MCOC addiction there for a little bit. Uh, but without seeing the actual videos, I can't really comment on them. The only thing I could say is. Uh, about like a, in a, like addiction in general, everybody gets uh, addicted to uh, to different things. You know, some people have more of a addictive personality too for certain things. The only video game I was ever addicted to uh, was Diablo 2. Man, like I couldn't stop playing Diablo 2. Like it was bad. I just wouldn't want to do anything else. <laughs> All I wanted to do is play Diablo 2. I didn't want to go to school. I didn't want to do nothing, man. It was just it was Diablo 2. That was it. Had to do uh, Mephisto runs, man. Had to get in those meph runs. Um, when it comes to other games, yeah, ever since then, there's n there hasn't been any that uh, had like a bad relationship with, if you want to call it that. So yeah, it's just it's just like anything in life, you know. You can compare it to uh, some people uh, can drink casually. Some people they. They have to cut themselves off completely, otherwise, yeah, it just kind of messes up their life. So, yeah. Took Symbioid to War, thought it was blocked since it was for Labyrinth. Bad idea with 5 star Star King Killmark. Well, there's a node in Alliance War, if you notice, where the Symbioid takes like an extra 200% damage or something like that. I don't know what tier you're in, but I imagine for, for like certain tiers, it might actually still be okay. But in like the higher tiers, no, you're gonna get slaughtered using that guy probably. We're having a fun conversation, Brian. Don't interrupt. Oh jeez. Well, boo the both of you. <laughs> I haven't read enough of them to to know if I should be booing you guys or not. But BG, you deserve a punishment. Okay, all right. Now I've read enough. Boo the both of you. Boo the both of you. Uh, so you're gonna be uploading War Vids of the season? Please say yes. I want to, man. I recorded the first half of this first one. I'm not, you know, I'm not, and I am, I am going to record the second half of it too. I just ran out of energy, but uh, I, I just got to get this website up, guys. I, it's, it's very important to me. Very important to me. I think it's going to help the community, uh, and just on a personal level, man, it, it feels satisfying working on something like this. I don't, I don't like making videos is fun, but. I don't know, man. It's like a different sense of uh, accomplishment, like making something uh, like this. Uh, and I have to, I have to, I have to uh, say it again. I'm still learning, so it's not like it's going to be this amazing, mind-blowing thing. It's, it's just, 
uh, it's just gonna be a little bit cool. You know what I mean? It's not. It's not gonna be like, oh my god, this is this is everything I've ever needed in life and more. No, it's just a website. Um, uh, and it's and it's gonna start off a little bit slow still, but uh, I'm getting better at it, and it feels cool. It feels uh, it's very satisfying. is all I could say. Um, Tim, Tim, oh wait, I don't think Tim's actually in here, is he? No, I didn't see Tim in here before. I think that's just an auto renew. Well, Tim, if you're watching this on the playback, uh, you just re-upped your banana, even if it was an automatic re-upping. Uh, so thank you, dude, for all the continued support. And we're looking so good in war right now. Are we dupes? I haven't, I haven't looked at it too much. I do, I did see, uh, I think Cade was, was, uh, posting something about a... A certain, uh, a certain Korg, I guess we could say the defender's name, right? A certain Korg kind of uh, blocking blocking them off pretty good. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, uh, it's a site for your mind's web. Yes, something like that. Boo. Ryan Grants, you access to this stream. Ah, jeez. We got another one. Boo is for all here. <laughs> MBG, as a new player, uh, wait, as a, as a new player I am, do you think I should open every PHC I get my hands on right away, or should I save up a little bit, then open them up? No, uh, you should, you should pop them all open right away. Like, if you have, if you have fun saving them up, uh, that's a different story. Like, I, I, I personally, I just had fun holding on to all of them. I didn't care what was actually best for my progression. I just, it was fun. It was fun hoarding those crystals. Um... So yeah, uh, uh, if you look at it from that perspective, then yeah, you can hold on to them if you want to. But in terms of like how you're going to progress the most, no. Whenever you get a crystal, just 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 pop it open right away. Um, there there are certain crystals as time goes on where it's definitely a good idea to hoard those things. But early on for your progression, every premium hero crystal has a chance to give you a game changing champion. Uh, and yeah, I recommend just popping it right away. Did you see, uh, wait, no, no, we're not, we are up though, wait, uh, guys, every friend says, anyway, BG, did you see quick takedown Korg on 34, uh, took him in like 30 seconds, <laughs> damn, dude, no, I didn't see that, I guess that, uh, that female boost, right, yeah, uh, I'm having trouble keeping my enthusiasm about MCOC, so Lil Joe's video kind of resonated with me. He's not quitting, by the way, just not doing the Alliance stuff, doing his own thing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, BG, thoughts on Korg as boss? Uh. I. I don't know how that would go, actually. I don't know if we've ever seen a Korg as a boss. I think. I think Korg, though, I feel like he's best on a hidden node where people don't expect him. If 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 he's there as a boss, you know what's coming. Um, it's likely that someone in your battle group uh, is capable of fighting Korg. You know, ha has like his his patterns down and stuff, uh, or has like a really good counter champion for him. So, yeah, I would say. Uh, I would say I, I, I don't know. He he might he might work out, and I feel like it it definitely changes by the tier. Maybe in like the lower tiers, maybe he'd be a, a, a really solid boss, really rock solid boss. I'm sorry, that was terrible. Um, but um, I think uh, as you, as you climb up the tiers, it's probably uh, not as effective, just because like I said, somebody somebody's gonna have a counter for him. And it, it, it doesn't even need to be like a super specific counter. Like magic is, is really good at fighting him and also magic happens to be a good boss champion or like boss killing champion, so yeah. Uh part one I play Counter Strike one point three back in the summer of two thousand three for like eight hours a day, sometimes four to five hours straight. Um uh, part two, my eyes were so glued to the screen that I ruined my tear ducts. Where they had trouble secreting as much tears as before, making my eyes dry and irritated. Condition called blepharitis. All right. While I while I understand that that's probably a real condition, that the, the name for that condition is uh, that sounds fake as hell. <laughs> blepharitis. Like I I believe you. I'm not I'm not saying you're lying. I'm just saying the actual name itself. Whoever named it should have come up with a better name. Blepharitis. Sounds like I just opened my mouth and 
whatever syllables came out, that was it. That was the word. Um, but yeah, man, I, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, that was Diablo for me, man. That was Diablo. I just played it like crazy. I've, I've always played games, like, like gaming is, is, is my primary, uh, source of fun in life, you know? So I've always, it's always been like a big part of my life. I've never, I don't want to say never, but most, like more, more often than not, I, and typically playing uh, games like a pretty good number of hours a week, you know. But I, I'm not into TV. I'm not into movies so much, you know. I don't like to go out uh, and go to bars and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, like this is this is this is my fun. Um, so I've always played games uh, probably uh, above average amount of time per day, but. As far as, like, addiction goes, the only one I could ever say I was really addicted to was Diablo. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was pretty sick. Class disadvantage, 565 Quake versus 45 Korg. Each Aftershock in the end did, like, 30% of his max health on 34. Damn, dude. That's pretty awesome. Did you, did you say Cat Bay popped 2K into Premier Crystals? Uh, only you would know how horrible that would have felt. Wait. Like, two, he spent 2,000 units on premium hero crystals? Is that what he did? Oh my god. Was it an accident or something? Like, wait, what happened? What the hell? He could, uh... I mean, if it was an accident, he could hit up support or something like that. Uh, what the hell? I didn't. I didn't see that. That's crazy, though. All right. Uh, Lojo's video was real talk. Yeah, I mean, he's 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 a very real dude. A lot of times, he uh, you know, he he likes to have fun and everything too. So he's a little bit trolly and stuff. But I'm a big fan of Little Joe. We've had some conversations in the past, so I I probably like I I could probably say what was in his video without seeing it. But at the same time, like I don't want to. I don't want to like put words in his mouth or something like that, or, or or assume exactly what he said. But we've we've had uh, we've had plenty of talks like uh, in private and off stream and stuff like that. So uh, after come watching Coco, have a good rest of the stream. All right, dude, enjoy your your Coco. Uh, he didn't open them. He could have had it fixed, probably. Oh, did he open them? Oh, if he opened them, then he's screwed. But yeah. This game not dead yet? No, this game's not gonna die for a very long time. At least I don't think so. I mean, Kabam is gonna have to uh, add more uh, interesting ways to play the game and stuff like that to keep everybody interested. But I think they're gonna do that. I think they know that. Uh, yeah, it was an accident. You should watch it. Good laugh. Oh man, I might have to check that out, dude. <laughs> oh, Captain, why? Why? How, how is that possible? How did he do that? I don't even know how it's possible, man. Oh, damn. Uh, would you take a Corvus instead of your Medusa? No. No. I don't think... I, I think I would have fun playing with Corvus. But he's not the type of champion where I would want to... Like, I don't think I would want to rank him up. Um... Uh, plus, like, right now, I, I really just want defenders. I, I so badly want more defenders. Uh, I just don't have the greatest champions to rank up right now, but uh, I think that would help the Alliance most if I, is if I can get some powerful defenders. And Corvus technically not that bad on defense, but Medusa is typically better. Uh, everyone be quiet about Cap now till BG watches the vid. Hashtag the pain. Oh man. Keeping the Medusa profile pick once they introduce a new system. I'm just gonna keep it automatic. I like I like to have I like. All right, here's the thing about the new system. Uh, I'm happy for other people who are you know who want to have that that customization option and stuff like that. But um, I like I like just having the the default. Whoever's my highest. That's the pick. Like, it's going to be nice scrolling through, uh, like, the feeds and stuff, and or, or just not, you know, just not seeing Blade everywhere, you know, for, for every single profile. So I think it's, I think it's pretty cool uh, in that regard. But um, at the same time, 
Uh, I played World of Warcraft for a while, and I stopped playing. So, all right. So uh, let me. I guess let me let me back up a little bit. So, World of Warcraft. You know, you could tell exactly what somebody was all about. Um, you could tell exactly, like, like I don't know, like you didn't have to look too hard at a character to to, to see like exactly what they were wearing. Like, I don't know, it, it told you the places they've been, told you the uh, the areas of the game that they'd conquered, the type of player they were. It's it with I don't know, without actually playing it, it's kind of hard to to put into words. But um, yeah, it's just the way it was, and. They introduced this system called Transmog, where you were able to change your appearance, your character's appearance, uh, like all the individual items. Um, you could change the look of them if you had collected that item at some point in the past. So you could you could fully customize the way that you look. Um, and when they first announced that, I was like, "Oh wow, that's really cool!" But I it, it like it didn't set in yet that like. Oh, but I'm also gonna lose. I don't know. It like it, it kind of takes away a little bit from just like that baseline look. It's it's a little bit different in this game. It's not as big a deal in this game because you can't see everything in this game. You can only see the one champion. But uh, it does remind me of that, and I actually hate that system in, in World of Warcraft now. Transmog. It's one. It's like my least favorite. It's one of the things that. Uh, I already stopped playing the game before they introduced it, but. Like, when I went back to playing it for, like, three days or something like that, I was like, uh, I really hate this. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, again, a lot different in this game, but it reminds me of that. And because it reminds me of that, I am always just going to keep my top champion, uh, who they are, and that's it. Alright, come on, big crit, big crit. No, one percent. BS, man, BS. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, I think it's, I think a lot of a lot of people asked for it. Uh, a lot of people have wanted this for a very long time, so I'm happy for those people that wanted this. But uh, I'll personally just be keeping my champion the way it is. Uh. Finally got my first five star after playing this game for months, and it was Howard the Duck. Bummer, dude. Hopefully your next one's a little bit better. I'm <laughs> sorry to hear that, man. A lot of us had had crappy first five stars, though, man. You'll uh, if you stick with it, you'll you'll pull some good ones. You'll pull some good ones. Uh. Is a discussion thread about the premium ones? Wait, wait. What is? It only changed the profile pick. The four champ slots won't be affected. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think it's a stupid point in this gimmick. I mean, a little bit, but people are going to have fun with it, and at the end of the day, that's what it's all about, right? Uh, well, I might change it anyway. I want a dump blade anyways. think I'll use Colossus. I mean, what's nice is even if you don't want to change your pick, like, okay, so if I if Blade was my top champion, um, I still wouldn't change him, and it would actually be better still, though, because I know a lot of people would change their champion, so uh, you'd still end up being a little bit more unique, uh, even without having to, to make any changes, so... Uh, if you're if you're one of those people that's just like, oh man, everybody looks looks the same as me. I want to change it and stuff like that. Uh, even if you don't have the units, it, it, you know, those other people making those changes is is gonna help you out too. So, uh, I would rather had Kabam using the development time they used for the profile pick gimmick to fix other frequently complained aspects of the game. Yeah, but it doesn't work like that. You know, this is an art thing, for the most part. Uh. Uh, they added some new art assets, and yeah, I guess there is a little bit of a system change where they allow for, for people to do this, but it's not like, it's not like, okay, we gave up Act 6 to get this, you know? Like, that's entirely different. There's people working on those things. Uh, there's a lot of different people that work there. It's not like it's just one guy, and he prioritized um, making, making it so that you could change your profile image uh, over... 
some new piece of content, you know? Don't have foul feelings towards the duck? Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, I know a lot of people who have gotten Star-Lord as a 5-star, but takes so long to dupe them. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Star-Lord was my second 5-star ever, uh, actually, but he's still not awakened. He's still useless. He's still useless. Uh, he's just that arena champion. Dude, I, I thought I thought I was going to dupe him like real early, too. I was like, oh, this is going to be great. I'll have a champion that I could use through... Uh, uh, Labyrinth of Legends and all that, but yeah, no, it didn't work out that way. <laughs> uh, but Howard was my first four star, and he helped me through a lot of content. Actually, yeah, I mean Howard's—he's not that—he's not that bad. He's not that bad. He's definitely not—he's uh, not that high up on the uh, most wanted list, but uh, he's not that bad. He's got—he's he's nice and tanky with those armors and stuff like that. His specials, special two, actually deals some pretty good damage. And vulnerability boost in the store, BG. Yeah, I already picked it up. But Star of the Duck isn't all he's quacked up to be. Ah, jeez. Ah, jeez. Now even Dicer's in it. Boo all you. <laughs> Boo all you. Uh, go for these feature crystals. Get a chance at duping them. Yeah, yeah. That's not a bad idea. It's not too shabby an idea. All right. Uh, Kamala Khan, why not? I choose you. Um, I love if Kabam introduced live PvP duels and arena, not just playing the AI. Yeah, live fights. I don't think they're fun, man. I don't. I don't think they would be fun. At least you just wait for the other player to make a move, and then you just stand back, wait for them to charge at you. You parry them and and win the fight, or or uh, uh, intercept if if you got the intercepting skills and all that. Like, yeah, that, that wouldn't be fun. Um, but what I really want more than anything still in this game is a smaller scale PvP system where it wouldn't exactly be mini alliance wars but I guess that's the best way to describe it without going into details just like a very small 20 minute max absolute maximum 20 minutes at a time it's like it's on a timer it's not like dungeons where you can go on forever in the dungeons if you're slow it can take you like an hour or something like that no I don't want that um, but I want it to be Mini Alliance War slash uh, PvP dungeon esque type of mode where it's on a timer and competitive and all that. That's that's what I want uh, more than anything in this game. Uh, that's the type of game mode that would keep things interesting for a while if Kabam can do it right. Uh, if they can do it right, because it's it's also tough. What I realized after they added the dungeons is. Uh, Man, there's there's already so much to do in this game. Like adding another additional game mode, like I don't know, man. It's tough to balance uh, the rewards from it all and everything. But yeah, if they can if they can pull it off, then this game will go on for a long time. I feel. In addition to adding, you know, Act Six and all that other stuff that they do too. BG, I'm about to report report Kabam for making buffet glitched. When you start the fight, you lose all Howard's armors. That is cheating. What the hell, really? I don't know if I've ever used Howard the Duck against Buffet to see that. Wow. <laughs> I did not know that. That's pretty nuts. That's pretty nuts. Uh, you only egg us on? Oh, jeez. Uh, wait, up to... What is this? Birds of a feather flock together, and then they poop on your car. Is that a haiku? <laughs> I don't know. I have, uh, it's nice though. I don't know. I I want to boo, but I feel like I should be snapping my fingers instead. That's nice. That's nice. Um, <laughs> hang on one sec, guys. Hang on. Hang on.
Okay, all right, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> someone's in trouble. No, 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 no. No, we're, we're, we, we, we've just, we've both come to the conclusion. I don't want to go into detail, but we've both come, a, come to the conclusion that we need to, we need to move. We need to get the hell out of here, man. There's, there's some sketchy things that that go on around our apartment, guys, and uh, yeah, we need to move. We. We can't move. The earliest we can move is July. That's when our lease is up. Uh, and yeah. Now we gotta. We just gotta make that happen somehow, though. Oh man. Fun, fun, fun. Uh, living in uh, this little slightly sketchy apartments. You know. Always good times. BG, you're the modern day Houdini. Poof, you disappeared. I know, dude. Did you like that trick? Uh, there's plenty more where that came from. Uh, there's plenty, plenty more. Like, check this out, for example. Uh, did you know that uh, as I'm fighting this uh, archangel, I can now appear above him, and I'm now fighting myself. This is unbelievable. No one's ever seen something like this before. Uh, wait, whose team am I on, then? Am I on archangel's side? Archangel, kick his ass, dude. Yeah. All right, I'm done with this. I'm sorry. That's probably pretty distracting. <laughs> okay. Hope everything's okay. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Get some protection, BG. I may know a guy. <sighs> Man, I don't know. It's it's things things are a little sketchy. Things are a little sketchy. We just need to we need to get out of here. Uh, yeah, I'm actually making a video on how buffet and masochism are both glitched because it says buff and debuff singular. They're either cheating us or cheating the English language. Unfair. Um, yeah, I guess. I don't know. I, I. It is a little bit weird. I always wondered if that was a glitch or if that was uh, supposed to be how the interaction worked. Right, come on, Nightcrawler. Oh God! Look at this. All right, let me let me switch you there, bud. Let me switch you. Come on. Most. Oh my God! And then I get wrecked. Okay. Well, at least it didn't do a lot of damage. Forget about. This. Oh, nope. Missed it again. I right, forget this man. Passive night crawler. Right. Uh, it'll be cool to see uh, beat the boss type challenges in the game. Uh, give a massive boss and give points for best takedown slash best combo and such. And those points be on a leaderboard slash after two weeks give reward. Star, you just described my uh, my mode up my my. Uh, one of my earlier video, one of my earliest videos, I should say, uh, called uh, Modox Lab. Actually, <laughs> long before Modox Lab was ever in this game, I uh, I had an idea that was called Modox Lab, and I put it out in a video. Uh, hey BG, it's me from behind the 7-Eleven. Ah, what's up, dude? Uh, haven't haven't seen you in a while. You get your your toe all fixed? This guy had his toe in a, in a Slurpee. He had it in like the small size too, I felt bad, so I bought him the big one. This way he can cool down uh, multiple toes at a time, because his toes are messed up. Messed up. Uh, but yeah, I like, I like that idea. I like that idea, Star. Of course I likes me that idea. Um... Had a buffet, masochism, recovery, stun immune, power gain, winter soldier today. Labs don't like me. Damn, dude. I'm thinking about doing, um... I'm thinking about doing, uh, what's it called? Uh, oh, man. Seeing somebody get banned for racist stuff. Guys, don't. There's, there's no reason for that. Everyone, I mean, it's just the one guy, I guess, but there's no reason to... It's not a race thing. But anyway, um... Oh, what was I going to say? I, I, I've been thinking about going in there with, with three stars. Do you guys think that's a stupid idea? Uh, oh, it must be Aaron. Is he creeping on you, BG? Is that why you need to move? Chris. <laughs> um, 
Uh, but what was I gonna say? Uh, it, uh, yeah, should I should I try to do a, a, a lab run with only three star champions? Is that dumb? It's not stupid if it works. I like the way you think. <laughs> as long as it works, it's not stupid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so maybe I should do it. Um, like the rewards are really good, so I I want to you know. I don't want to miss out on the rewards, so I don't want to fail. But it would be uh, a pretty cool accomplishment if I can if I can get it done with three stars. I don't know if I don't know if it's doable though, man. Like it's uh, who else do I want to use? Let's let's go beast. Why not beast? Do it for the content. I may I may. So here's the here's the thing though. Uh, I think that type of content would be better in video format, but I think I think I have to do something like that live, otherwise people will think like, oh, you just uploaded the one time where it worked out and not the hundred times where you failed beforehand or something like that. So I feel like I have to do it live. I feel like I gotta do it live. And, uh, if I, you know, that way people, like, it, 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 it with, like, win or lose, it's automatically there. There is no hiding it. There is no hiding the failure, you know? Um, so I feel like I have to do a live, but at the same time, man, I, I'm, I, everything I do is a live stream, you know? I'm like, yeah, people can just go back and watch it afterwards if they want. Um, but it's just something about, like, Starting at the beginning and, and like hearing the explanation for things like if, if somebody watches it live That and like they see Let's say somebody sees like the last half of the run or something like that then Kind of ruins the first half, you know, it's like it's like if you walked in on a movie if you walked in on a the end of a movie uh, you you're, The first half is like less interesting usually right? Even if it's still a really good movie, even if you went back and watched it anyway, because um, I've done that before, uh, it still takes away from, from some of it, right? I don't know. I don't know, man. So 3.3 for cap? Well, it's just a guess. It's just a guess. Uh, I'm not sure if three stars will work. One, uh, one block tit is like 1k damage on 10k attack opponents. Yeah, or you can plan ahead and bring champions that... Uh, have strong blocking abilities. You're gonna get your ass kicked, man? Maybe. Uh, BG, do you need to move because your neighbors have no teeth? What? <laughs> the fumes from their meth lab? I mean, chemistry experiments are leaking into your apartments? Uh, I don't think it's like that. Yeah. <laughs> but maybe. I don't know. Uh, and make sure you have over, uh, overflow of randomizers. So, I'm, I, I probably would do that just in case. But the idea is to not re-roll anything. I don't want to re-roll anything. I just want to go in there, use my three-star champions, uh, bring a team that I feel can handle basically any cha uh, challenge that I come across, uh, and do it all without re-rolling. Because I think it's more fun without re-rolling. I feel like if you re-roll, you're kind of you're kind of going in with the idea, like let's let's say Stark Spidey is, is like your main champion, right? Then you're kind of going in with the mindset of, okay, I need to re-roll these nodes uh, to fit them to Stark Spidey. Whereas if you go in with like just a, like a bunch of different champions and you look at the list of nodes and you're in the mindset of, okay, I'm not re-rolling, then you got to think about like, damn, okay, which like oh this might suck, but which one of these champions is it gonna suck? the least with. Uh, so yeah. Uh, yes, it is more fun watching you die to impossible nodes due to stubbornly not rolling. <laughs> well, okay, that's that's a nice little bonus to it, I guess. <laughs> yeah. We won a game? How you all doing? Dysentery Joe. Who won a game? What you, what you talk about? Sports? Talk about sports stuff? You think 3.7 will be safe, BG? No, I do not. I do not. I, I, I'm going to go for it myself and I'll probably put up over 4 mil. Uh, I really want uh, Captain Beardo. He's one of my favorites in the game right now. All you need is a three-star ghost. I thought about that. Uh, 
So I already kind of picked out a, a, a list of champions to use. It's not set in stone, but uh, I do have I do have a few champions. I don't want to say who exactly yet, but Ghost Ghost was in in like a serious uh, contender for for making the team. Um, I just feel like I haven't. I feel like I haven't uh, practiced enough with Ghost to just suddenly be able to do a, a three-star challenge with her, you know? Um, so yeah, like that's the only reason that I'm not bringing her. Ghost, Wasp, Hood, Ant-Man, Void, done. Yeah, okay, so the other thing too is I wanted to use champions that I don't use as five stars. Uh... So, I, Void? I can't use Void. I don't want to use Void. No Stark Spidey, no Blade. Um, no Medusa, you know. And I've legit learned nothing in three hours of this tutorial. Dude, I've done that so many times, Drop Faith, recently. Brian, it's disturbing that you're on my desktop and I'm watching a full PHP five-hour video tutorial on my other monitor for no reason. Wow, dude. Did y'all bring my AR? Uh, pff, oh man, I don't think I don't think it's that serious, Cody. I don't think it's that serious, man. <laughs> I sure as hell, but it's not that serious, at least. Uh, uh, no hype? Yeah, no, no, no hype. Uh, Spider Gwen? Well, Spider Gwen didn't make the the cut either. She didn't make the cut either. No Omega Red though, so I have to come up with a different option for Biohazard. Like it's it's serious, man. This is a serious challenge. This is a very serious challenge to to not only do it with three star champions, but to to give up some of the uh, some of the the best options in the game too, you know, or most common options I should say, because there's a lot of good options. It's just you know not everybody uh, realizes it all the time. Uh, I don't even know what we're talking about. We're talking about using uh, three-star champions in the highest difficulty of the Occult Labs. And if it's even possible. We're trying to figure out if it's even possible. If I should try to do that. Uh, forced to use three-star Expo Dead Force. No, unfortunately I can't use him because I use him on the five-star team. You know, he's, he's I, well, my, my six-star. I use him there, so. Uh, gosh darn, I can't use, uh, <laughs> I just can't use him because of that reason. Otherwise, oh, I totally would have. Uh, if you're going in and not planning to re-roll... Wait, hold on... No, I want to get a special one-off to... Uh, no... Damn it. really wanted to get a special one to extend the duration of those, uh... Uh... What's it called? Shocks. Oh, well, whatever. Um... Hold on, what did my wife say? If you're going in and not planning to re-roll, you have to get into the mind of the developers. Taskmaster? That's pretty interesting, actually. But, uh... You know what? Taskmaster might actually be pretty good for the challenge. Like, a legit, decent option for the challenge. Um, high perfect block. Can go immune to debuffs. Uh... I'm still not going to use him, <laughs> but it might not actually be that bad. Might not actually be that bad. Three-star Venom the Duck. Now you're thinking that's uh, champion number one that made the team. Heimdall. Heimdall was a, a consideration. Heimdall was a consideration, but I don't think Heimdall is going to make it. Uh, BG, we love to see you get your ass kicked. Yeah, so I, I probably will do it. I probably will do it. Uh, I can't do it today. Like the... Oh, whoops. Stupid accidentally moving the screen. There we go. Um, I can't do it today because uh, my labs, they're already, they're already done. So this wouldn't, this is not something that we could do today. But um, I might do a live stream tomorrow. Wait, 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 day's tomorrow? No, tomorrow's Friday, isn't it? Oh, no, tomorrow, oh, well. Hang on, let me see what time BlizzCon starts because I'm, I'm watching BlizzCon. <laughs> I'm watching BlizzCon. Uh, that's that's something that's happening. I don't care what else is going on the day. I mean, unless an emergency pops up or something like that, you know, it's not that it's not that serious. But anyway, uh, 
BlizzCon schedule. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right. What do we got here? Heroes of the Storm tournament. Don't care about that. Uh. Wait. Oh no, I'm back in October. What the hell is this, man? Uh. Okay, here we go. All right. Oh, opening ceremony. Oh, it's 11 a.m. Oh god, dude, I didn't realize that. Okay, daytime stream tomorrow is probably not gonna happen. It's probably. <laughs> I work Sunday, FYI. Okay, okay. No, I work. Okay, well, yeah, it's probably not going to happen tomorrow. I was thinking that it happened later in the evening for some reason, but of course it happens early in the day. Why? I don't know why I thought it was later. Okay. So, we'll probably have to do it on Saturday, because Saturday, I don't think there's any... Yeah, it's just like... The, like the, the, the announcement day, there's still cool stuff that happens, but the big announcement day, uh, it, it all happens on, like, day one here. Mmm... I could do it like in the afternoon though, maybe or, like after all this stuff. It doesn't take that long to hear. Uh, I don't know, guys. I don't know. Labs go on till seventh. Okay, all right. I'll, I'll we'll probably do it. Probably do it Saturday. Uh, it is Friday already. Not for me. Three star Omega Red for Labs might work. I can't use him though because I use him as a five star, so he's he's automatically taken out of the running. Taken out of the running. Okay, well, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I, I might do it tomorrow. Um, I might do it on Saturday. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Beardo, Switch, OG, Vision, Star-Lord, and Iceman, or Sentinel for Biohazard, and he may be able to do it. That's a pretty decent team that you've got set up there. It's not the team that I was going to use, but it's a decent team nonetheless. Uh, I, think there's di I think there's a few different teams that could do it. Um, but that's not the team that I'll be going with. Out of the running, the cool running, <laughs> dude. I love me some cool runnings. Uh, all right, let's get back to it, though, man. Well, let's get back to it. Must get infinite streak. See, um, I I probably should use a Scarlet Witch team, honestly. Uh. It could be pretty good, but yeah, I'm I'm not going with her. Like she was, she was definitely something I thought of, though. Uh, Brian, do you know what an egg corn is? Is it like an acorn except made out of egg? I don't know. All four stars with no masteries. Oh uh, man, no masteries. That's that's a pretty interesting challenge, but I don't really want to reset my masteries for it because that like that cost units. And at that point, yeah, uh, screw that. Screw that. That'd be a fun one, though, man. That would be a fun one. Maybe it'd be fun. I don't know. <laughs> no dexterity, actually. Oh, man. That, man, I don't know if that would be fun without dexterity. I can get about seven hot dogs in my pockets. Oh, nice. They must be the ballpark, Franks. ABG, I've been saving my six-star shards since they first came and about... Uh, wait, hold on, hold on. First came... Uh, uh, wait. 150k. Hold on, hold on. Wait, what? BG, I've been saving my 6-star shards since they first came out. Open 150k worth of 6-star champs. Uh, and got Domino, Nightcrawler, Sentinel, Iron Fist, Luke Cage, Iron Man Infinity, Captain America Infinity, Kingpin. Dude. Uh, that's pretty awesome. You got some really good champions there. Holy crap. Holy crap, man. You can throw that Nightcrawler on defense, Sentinel and Domino. You can do whatever the hell you want with those guys because they're both awesome for everything. Luke Cage is awesome. The Infinity Dudes. Dude. There's some sick pulls there, man. Uh, it's interesting that you, that you decided to wait that long. But, man. Uh, hopefully you're happy with those pulls because I think I'd be pretty happy with those pulls, dude. It's awesome. You can do it tomorrow. It won't take them long to announce D3 on the Switch. Well, that's already that announcement's already done. It better be something else besides that for Diablo, man. I'll be so sad. 
Uh, it's a word or phrase that results from a mishearing or misinterpretation of another, an element of the original being substituted for one that sounds very similar or identical. Egg corn equals acorn. Ah, okay. Interesting. Uh, I do that with a lot of words. Uh, I guess because I don't really read so much, um, I don't see exactly how the word is, is spelled that much, you know, so it's it is by uh, by sound, and a lot of times it's if I hear something uh, just slightly different than it's actually spelled, uh, and yeah, that happens. Uh, yeah, a lot of units for one video. Yeah, yeah, it's just too much. Damn, BG, you almost defined egg corn. <laughs> yeah, I guess I almost did. Has anyone used Venom and on Alliance War offense? Wondering if he's the better option as a five star. For Infinity Man or Four Star Void, any thoughts, BG? Um, I ha so somebody sent me a video of Venom vs Infinity Man on Twitter a while back, and it looked like he was pretty good for it, but I can't remember exactly. Or wait, maybe that was Carnage. Ah, crap! I don't know, man. Um, I think I think Venom would be better though. I think Venom would be better than than Four Star Void. It would just depend on the node, of course, though. So if we're talking about, like, a node that has arc overload on it, or a buffet or something like that, then Void is, is still going to be better. But on the average node, then uh, that Venom, I think, is better. I would have to imagine it's better. So, yeah. Uh, Chester draws rather than chest of drawers. Uh, toe the line rather than toe the line. Uh, huh. I might have always thought that toe the line meant, like the T-O-W. <laughs> I, I guess I never really thought about it though. It's not it's not the type of phrase that uh, that I've ever said or uh, really heard said much. Um, you could have fell asleep on the phone. What you talking about? Me? Uh, why are all those? Why is there a bunch of cactus and other plants there? Please die, Medusa. Please die. Thank you. Uh, hey Brian, what's up, man? What's up, Rye guy? Good night, everyone. Good luck in war and crystal luck. Yes. Uh, right back at you, Lena Chow. BG 30k uh, tier five basic fragments till void goes rank five. Cody, nice dude. Sounds like uh, end of the season combined with next monthly event quest is uh, probably going to do it, right? Or the uh, Cyber Monday, if those offers are, uh, if they if they tickle your fancy, that could be a way to get it too. Uh, I'm excited for my next one too. I, I don't know who it's going to be still. Really have no clue, but I... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I it just getting rank fives feels so good, man. They're so much stronger than rank fours. Uh, yeah. How long can I go on my roster for the four star featured? Uh, 440, 235. Uh, or how how low? Wait, did I say long? Oh, jeez. How low can I go on my roster for the four star featured? 440 and, and 235. Yeah, if you want to just use three of of the same champions, those will be 100% safe for you. You can use lower champions, but you'd have to mix them in with some higher ones just to just to be on the safe side. So, like, if you use two 440s and a 330, you'll be safe. Uh, one 440 and two 330s is, for the most part, safe, but if they're all low PI, then even that's not safe. So, it's just uh, it's a little bit of a, a gray area when it comes to mixing in some of those lower ones. Uh, hey, hey, what's up, Integral? Uh, Infinity Man, you only need to punish heavies, so 5-star Venom is cheaper than 4-star Void, plus True Strike gives you an easy blow. Um, yeah. Yeah, like, I think it, it, it'd be better, right? It'd be better. I agree. Uh, I won the Costco Relish Eating Contest. Dude, that's probably a lot of relish, right, if it was from Costco? Like, how much did you have to eat? It's probably a giant jug of it, right? Did you relish your winnings? Oh boy. <laughs> is, that a, is that a relish pun? 
Um, I do my four-star Modoc for the third time today alongside my four-star Black Panther. Uh, which do I take to rank four? Um, hold on, hold on. I do my four-star Modoc for the third time today alongside my four-star. Oh, Modoc for sure. I would go Modoc. I think Modoc is better in every single area of the game than Black Panther Civil War. Uh, maybe you could argue synergy-wise that Black Panther is better in some cases, but uh, offensively, defensively, prestige, uh, fun, utility. I think I think Modoc uh, is is the winner there, pretty easily. Uh, and into work. Have a great night. All right, Cody. Have a good night, dude. Tweet, tweet. If you wanna giggle, sucker. All right, where are we at, Dicer? Stark Spidey versus Rogue. Eh. <laughs> oh no. Is this is this a three star in 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 the labs? Oh no, are you trying the challenge, Dicer? <laughs> are you trying it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, is that what I'm going to be in for? Oh no, dude. <laughs> oh no, maybe I shouldn't do it. Maybe I shouldn't do it. Oh god. He has my condiments. Compliments. Oh jeez. You should do one push-up uh, between fights. Well, maybe. Uh, one push-up, that would be my limit. So I could do that, but yeah. I would get stronger. Whatever happened to Dr. Me? Heard he changed his name because he never gets any kills in war because of duels? Dr. Me? Which duel target is that? Is that a is that an Infinity Man duel? I don't remember that one. Uh, whenever I dueled Infinity Man, it was always slicing pain with the, the one for the L and stuff. That was always my, my dueler. Uh, I fully explored the first three quests. Uh, fully explored the, the first three quests. Is that good because my uh, best team rating is 10,087 and I'm level 36? Yeah, dude. Yeah, you're doing great. Uh, eventually, you'll get yourself up to be able to do the next highest difficulty and really start to bring in those rewards. Or do grinds while riding your, on your bike. Yeah, I mean, that's really what I need to do. I didn't do it again today. As you guys can tell, because I didn't have any arena done before uh, before stream time, but I should have. I should have. I didn't really go to sleep until like noon is the problem. So uh, I was just up all night working on stuff, and uh, yeah, by the time I went to sleep, it was around noon. Slept for a couple of hours, and I it was I you know I I need to I need to wake up early to uh, exercise. I have a lot more energy in the in the daytimes for that type of thing. He's a six star infinity man? Okay, alright. Uh push it up between each fight in arena. Uh it looked like Arnold Schwarzenegger in a month. Yeah, dude. It's for real. His name is now Wick 2.0. Interesting. The name change thing is, is still a little bit weird to me. Like I, I it's it's definitely cool for uh, for people who are not happy with their name and stuff. But uh, I, don't know, I I like I like um, I like knowing the same people. You know what I mean? Like that guy was known, uh, not to me apparently, but that guy was known to you guys as the dual target um, for Infinity Man. But now he's like Wick 2.0, and it's like ah, I mean. It's nothing against the name. The name is fine, but you already known as as someone, you know. Uh, I mean, people will always be able to look at his profile when they fight him Alliance for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think that has anything to do with, uh, with how easy it is to, to take down the fight or something. People just learned how to how to handle that fight. It took a little while to adjust to it, but it's not that bad. Hey, hey, you don't support clothing the homeless do push up. What the hell does that even mean? What? Uh, should I rank four of my hood or duped storm? Both four stars. Uh, is hood not awakened? I don't know. Not a huge fan of either of those champions, to be totally honest. I, I, I think personally I have more fun with storm. 
especially if Hood is not awakened. Um, so I kind of want to say Storm, but I know, I know a lot of people would prefer Hood. So, yeah, personal preference. I'm not. I don't think either of them are super game changing. How about for every arena fight you lose, you do those 1,000 jumping jacks that apparently come so ridiculously easy for you? Uh, all right, sure, game on. I just gotta make sure not to lose ever. Uh, I, I immediately take that back. I'm good. I'm definitely gonna lose, and I'm not gonna be doing those thousand jumping jacks. Hell no, hell no. But man, yeah, I. I so today, I got back on my uh, my healthy eating kick. Uh, no more junk food again. Hopefully, I'll start to lose some weight. I'll I'll, I'll get back to the exercises. I'm trying to make November like a like a, a new beginning to it all again. So, actually, after this stream, I probably will do some exercise. It'll be just, just some late night exercise. But I gotta do something. I gotta do something, man. I can't, 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 uh, even if I fail yet again for the millionth time at, uh, getting in shape, you gotta keep trying, right? Do arena while doing crunches? Uh, the only crunches I'm gonna do while, uh, playing arena is the Captain Crunch variety. Crunches, screw that. Ryan, why don't you have a higher hood ranked up considering you're literally always in a hoodie? Well, I mean, I have a SIG 99 550 hood. Uh, he was one of my first 550s, so that's pretty good, right? Line Dualbot makes name change irrelevant. For dual targets, yeah, but it's still relevant in terms of like, you know, I like knowing people by the name that I kind of learned about them with, you know. Uh, BG, how do you grade the new Class Catalyst Daily Card offer worth buying? Uh, well, I talked about it a little bit earlier. Whenever it comes to that type of thing, it, it, it all depends on your own financial situation and if you, if you, if you have uh, a good amount of disposable income. Uh, I can't say. It, it changes for every single person. Some people, they, uh, the, the, you know, could be in debt and have zero disposable income for the entire year, then of course you stay the hell away from that offer and every single other offer. Uh, and other people, they make more money in, uh, in, a, in a single day uh, to cover offers for uh, the entire year. So it depends. Uh, who should I take to 455, Killmonger or Dormammu? Uh, I'm a fan of Killmonger over Dormammu, but, uh, that depends too. Personal preference, I'd say. They're both good options. Uh, both can be pretty annoying to fight against. Mm, both decent offensively, but seen more as defenders, I would say, overall. Uh, but yeah, I'm a, I'm a bigger fan of Killmonger. Pretty sure HQ Sean renamed himself to Dr. Duel Me. Did he really? No, dude. Oh man, I'm gonna go check the leaderboard after this. Uh, I can never change my name now. Yeah, please don't ever change your name, Panama Pete. Your name's great. No, 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 no. Please don't use it. Please don't use it. Please don't use it. Just die, dude. Oh my god, this one percent thing. Fry beans are kind of junk food because you make them with oil. Uh, I don't eat fried beans though. I just make fried. I, or now nah, you got me saying fried. I, I just eat beans uh, that I make in a uh, in a pressure cooker that just have they just cook in water it's just it's just beans I don't add salts or anything like that it's literally just beans I don't eat them just by themselves I'll mix that in with other food but as far as cooking the beans go it's it's just beans and water uh, I was gonna lose weight but candy November uh, first is my food budget until they let me back in Costco. What the hell? They ban you after after what you did to their relish eating contest or something? I can't blame them. Uh, since the name change junk is like at so and so at John Doe at Jane Doe and whoever the hell Billy Butt Nugget is uh, get moving in AQ. Yeah. What a diplomatic reply, I meant assume if I have money, then is it worth buying value for money? I, yeah, 
dude, like I said, it's it's not a diplomatic reply. It's uh, if if it's it it's do you need those resources, and do you have lots of money? If if either of those, if either one of those are no, then you stay away from it. If both of them are yes, and you don't mind spending money, then sure, pick it up. Like uh, uh, uh I, I kind of broke down into units a little bit of of uh, what I think each individual thing is worth. And it came out to, I don't know, like a thousand units of pop for the tier 2 alphas. Um, if you need tier 4 class catalyst, then they're like 500 uh, units of pop for those. Uh, um, oh, that's right, I already used that champion. Because uh, there's like, the other, there's, there's four total worth in there, but not everybody needs those. So yeah, it depends on what you need, dude. You gotta, you gotta be able to look at these things for yourself, too. If you don't like my answer, then I don't know. Go watch somebody else's video that uh, they, they'll, they'll sum up and say the exact same thing, but uh, just with slightly different words. Nice air, BG. Did you go to the uh, barbers today? Wait, what? That was yesterday. Never mind. I just put my bald cap back on. I put my bald cap back on. Sorry. Hopefully that didn't that didn't come off sounding too uh, much like a jerk there too. I realized that afterwards that probably sounded more like a like a jerk response than I wanted it to. But that is the that is the reality of it. That is the reality of it. Uh, on a seafood diet, I see food and I eat it. I've been on that diet before. <laughs> I've had plenty of those. There ain't no contest. I walk into Costco and I eat relish until I throw up and they got mad. Wait, what? I thought it was a contest. You said. Uh, Brian, what do you think about the profile picture changes come in the next update? Uh, I think it's, I don't know, I think it's okay. I think a lot of people uh, have been asking for it for a while, so I think it's cool for those people. But uh, I just want to keep my own picture the way it is. Uh, I think, uh, I don't know, there's something about just having it be like what your actual top champion is that I enjoy. So yeah. Uh, when do you unlock the defense thingy BG you used against Hyper? Hold on. The defense thingy BG used against Hyper? Against Hyper? Oh, 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 the, uh, the five-star thing. The five-star thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, yeah, it's just for five-star champions. <laughs> the five-star thing. BG has Kabam said anything about Lab 2.0 during NYCC? Um, not really. I think we asked them about that. I can't remember exactly what they said, but uh, I can't remember exactly what what they said about it. But um, uh, I think they they like they said they're not working on it or something like that. But I feel like eh, they're probably working on. It. I'm sure. I'm sure. Even if even if if they're not like exactly dedicating a lot of time to it and they're more focused on like act six or something uh, I feel like they had to have at least had like some ideas that they've been jotting down type of thing you know what I mean like uh, yeah uh, but no there's like no information to share unfortunately I wish dude I wish when you said lab it threw me off for a second because we have like the the occult labs in here and I was like an occult labs 2.0 <laughs> but yeah of course you're talking about labyrinth uh, I wish though I wish we had more info Winter Soldier has good bleed and power drain and fury hit like a truck with Killmonger hit harder than a truck you should use um, use Loki 2 for Act 5 testing uh, Winter Soldier is pretty cool I he's not he's not that amazing though he's still like below average I would say um, I do really want to test him out with a 5 star uh, Killmonger though I think that synergy makes him pretty fun uh, it's just I don't have him as a 5 star so the synergy for me is pretty weak so yeah lab versus labs and then context clues yeah 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 BG did you watch Lil Joe's video felt touching I didn't I, I saw what he what was posted though like the you know in my, in my sub box uh, and I'm pretty sure I know what he's talking about just based on conversations that I've had with him in the past. Um, but I didn't actually check out the video. 
Uh, just realizing YouTube on my iPhone has no autocorrect, so everything I've said has sounded kind of weird. I promise America. Oh man, that no, doesn't matter, dude. Uh, doesn't. First off, doesn't matter where you're from. Uh, and second, dude, I can barely form like regular sentences. So if any, if there's ever any typos or anything like that, uh, don't don't even worry about it. Do you think dungeons are here to stay? Yeah, Kabam already said dungeons are here to stay. It's just that they're going to, uh, they're going to come back. Like, like, like they're. I mean, they're getting taken away. We got an in-game mail about it, right? They, they're they're getting taken away pretty soon, but then they're going to come back. Um. Uh, like I, I mean, I guess they didn't tell us the date that they're going to come back, but in the past they said they kind of want to make it something that comes back like the second half of every month. Just to keep people interested who like plow through the monthly content right away. Um, I just hope that they make some more changes to the dungeons though. Uh, and I, 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 they said that they were gonna like take feedback on them when they brought them back this time around. They said they were gonna take more feedback on them and and adjust them and stuff like that. So yeah, I don't think I don't think we've seen the end of like the dungeons as far as like this is this ain't their final form. You know what I mean? Because uh, right now they just feel a little bit like they're fun, but just not not super compelling to do, you know. I think Kabam should give us five star Wolverine and five star Scarlet Witch offer instead of Electro or Abomination. I don't know if we'll ever get Scarlet Witch, but I imagine the other champions like they're being slowly uh, kind of added in this the special deals here. Electro and Abomination. I wish I had those those champions though. If I had if I had Either or both. Oh, I would I would slam those guys on defense. Uh, for sure. As five stars, man, they could... Like, you bring the wrong champion to either of those fights, and you could be toast. So, yeah. Uh, Winter Soldier synergy with five-star Killmonger is almost like a dupe Star-Lord. Pretty much, yeah. Probably come back in January since holidays. Uh... You could be right. Uh, I mean, I don't know. All right, so you might be right, but at the same time, I think like they like a lot of a lot of games come out towards the holidays, right? And of course, there's special offers and stuff like that. So Kabam wants people playing. They really want you playing the game during the holidays. So, I mean, if I was if I was Kabam, I would want to either bring back dungeons sooner or some other type of content so I, I think act six we're, I don't think we're gonna see act six until uh, until probably like early like next year so like January or February or something like that um, but I feel like we're gonna get something else before then I don't know uh, may sound like a noob question, but why not use heavies? So heavy attacks, they're just not very reliable, like if the enemy is blocking. Um, the only real reason to use heavy attacks is, uh, or for the most part, for the most part, there's, there's different situations to use them, but for the most part, you want to use heavy attacks when they apply a special uh, effect type of thing. So um, Hyperion uh, gains Furies off his heavy attacks, so you want to, like, Try to get a parry, up, parry stun on the enemy and then use your heavy attacks to gain those furies. Um, uh, but just like the average champion, no, you're better off um, uh, just being a little bit more patient, waiting to get a, a different type of opening. Trying to, trying to parry them or, or something like that to get your attack in. Uh, Uncle K sent it over two bucks saying, question to follow. Okay. Uh, rank up question, all five stars, uh, duped, uh, oh wait, so, okay, so duped, it would be Hyperion and Luke Cage, unduped is Dr. Voodoo, Ghost Rider, Killmonger, Sabretooth, or Magic, goals, 100% Act 5, and Realm of Legends, as always, thanks for all the help. Uh, okay. Uh, first off, thank you very much for the two bucks, alright, let me go through this here, so, unduped, I wouldn't take up Voodoo, I'd stay away from Killmonger too. Uh, I want to do Sabretooth. Magic is possible. I, I'd say out of the Unduped, Ghost Rider and Magic are both uh, 
decent options. Um, but would they be better than an Awakened Hyperion or Luke Cage? I don't think so. I think uh, what what I would do, my personal preference would be that Hyperion. I would I would want to rank up that Hyperion first. Um, from there, like next in line would probably be either Luke Cage or Ghost Rider. Um, just so you have some bleed immunity. This way you can take the like the biohazard nodes. Um, I think either one of those would be be like pretty pretty even in terms of, of power. Ghost Rider's got that sustainability which is awesome. Luke Cage has like the better damage output and a couple other utility type things but the sustainability of Ghost Rider might might push uh, him in the lead. I don't know. They'd be close. They'd be close. Um, magic magic is... She's cool and everything. She doesn't need to be awakened to use her, her power locking abilities and stuff. But she doesn't really have sustainability without her limbo um, and in some of the longer quests like uh, like act 5 and, and realm of legends then yeah I don't think I don't think she's gonna be that good I think Hyperion would also be really strong for realm of legends he's he's one of my favorites to use in realm of legends I think he's a beast in there so yeah like Hyperion would be would be my answer out of, those, out of that list it would definitely be um, but yeah, dude, thank you very much for the two bucks. Thank you, thank you. Uh, the top row of four stars you went past while talking about heavies all benefit from heavy attacks. Do, uh, probably. I wasn't really paying attention, but yeah. I don't doubt it. Uh, I've just got Labyrinth left uh, of the non-expiring content now, and these next five days are boring me. Yeah, I understand. I understand, but also BG, if you have a five star A bomb, everyone will know. That's true. Yeah, you're you're absolutely right. Uh, I'd have to I'd have to have other science champions in there to uh, shake things up even more. Uh, I would strongly consider using a generic on A bomb to be honest. Yeah, maybe. Uh, crowd plow through the monthly every month and refuse to do dungeons. Yeah, yeah. Definitely understand. I hope you get a I hope you get a kind of boss rush challenge on December. Me too, dude. I like we haven't got a celebrity challenge in forever, and it would be nice to get one of those. It'd be really nice to get one of those. Um, I think uh, of all of the like bonus type uh, solo content that we get in this game. Not counting like the story quest, the monthly event, and stuff like that. Um, I think the the current labs that we have are actually my favorite. Uh, I, I I just really enjoy these things. Um, but second to these, I would say, are the celebrity challenges that we get. Um, those are also really fun. So yeah, I hope we get one of those. Uh, Plus the rewards from those things are, are really nice, man. Just like the 20 generic six stones that you get, the five star shards, all that stuff. The celebrity challenges. Love them. Uh, Anthony sent it over 15 bucks. Dude, Anthony, thank you so much for the very generous 15 bucks. Saying, in a great mood, just do my five star Killmonger again. Now Sig, one t uh, Sig 120. Nice, dude. Very nice. Uh, do you use him on, on, uh, on defense? Because... What a pain in the ass that guy would be to come across on defense high sig. Um, but very nice, dude, and thank you so much for the very generous 15 bucks that you sent over. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> uh, iPhone 7S is real. Wait. The 7S doesn't exist. Oh, I think I missed that. Um, I use him on defense every war. Okay, yeah. I would do the same thing, dude. I would do the exact same thing if I were you. Yeah, Killmonger's a beast. Uh, maybe they do one uh, around when Act 4 trailer drops or something. Otherwise, not much 
Um, all movie steps, but... Oh, wait, that's not Act 4, that's Avengers 4. <laughs> when Avenger 4 trailer drops or something, otherwise not much Marvel movie steps, but Avenger 4 trailer is supposed to come before the end of the year. Yeah, that's the problem, is there's no more movies, right? But, like... M they could have done one for, like, the TV shows and stuff, right? But I guess... So, like, I, I imagine I imagine the celebrity challenges are pretty expensive for them. I don't I don't know if they are or not, but I know, you know, like, they have to get a celebrity involved, of course. Um, so, like, the, like, like, that, the, whoever, like, the main actor in a movie is, I'm sure they make a decent amount from Kabam uh, approaching them and being like, hey, we're going to put you in a video game. Uh, if you don't mind, <laughs> and uh, all you gotta do is send out like a couple of tweets about it, send out like five tweets throughout the month, like, hey, have you guys taken on my challenge or something, you know? Um, so yeah, may like maybe it's pretty expensive. Maybe they only want to do it for like the really big uh, movies or something. Um, but they could do it for like TV shows and stuff, right? Like, didn't didn't. Uh, um, like, 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 Daredevil could have had one or something, right? We got a celebrity type challenge without a celebrity before. Remember Web Slingers event? We could get another one of those. Was Web Slingers not around, like, the Spider-Man movie release? Was that not around, like, Homecoming or something? Spider-Man Homecoming movie or something? They should do a celebrity challenge for Spider-Verse or Ask Stanley. Dude, if they did a, a Stan Lee celebrity, ch celebrity challenge, I'm sure everybody would go nuts, right? What if they did that and they, like, got Stan Lee playing the game? And what if he was actually just a beast? What if he was, like, the, like better than any of us? <laughs> what if he just, uh... What if, he, what if he gets, like, the number one time on the challenge for the Legends or something? <laughs> That'd be so awesome, dude. Uh, need Stanley as a playable character? Yeah, a lot of people want to see that, too. I have a feeling that we're looking too far ahead and Act 6 will be introduced uh, to middle of this uh, month. Mark my words, Banana Man. It's possible, Jay. It's possible. I'm not going to say uh, it's definitely not going to happen. Um, it might happen. I mean, okay, so here, here's what I do know. Like, they, they were pretty tight-lipped about, like when Act 6 was coming at, at Comic-Con, right? But here's what I do know. Um, there, wait, hold on. There was no celebrity for Web Slinger, though? Oh, was there not? Oh, okay. Okay. Um, but anyway, so here's, uh, here's what I know about, like, the little bit that I know about Act 6, uh, or just something related to it, at least. Um, oh, get out of my face, Killmonger. Um, sorry, I'm distracted. Of course, when I want to talk about this, I get like an actual annoying fight to do. But, uh, alright, so here's what I know about it. Aegon has a lot to do with, like, we're, like, we're going to find out a lot about the contest with the introduction of Aegon since he was the champion of the, uh, of the, uh, of the very first contest of champions, and uh, you know, with Gabe saying that there's a reason for the contest to exist, and it always had to exist, and we're gonna find out more when Aegon gets added, or, or maybe they said when Act Six gets added. It was one or the other, but uh, I feel like the two kind of go together, right? And if Aegon's hitting next month, then there is a possibility. And by next month, I mean like this month, because it's already November. So there is a possibility that we could see Act 6, but I don't know. I, If I had to put money on it, I would say we're still not going to get Act 6 just yet. From like a financial perspective too, though, a lot of people, I would say... Like people who have stopped playing the game would come back for Act 6. Um, we'd get really excited about it, we'd come back for Act 6, and then, like, you know, if they release that, like, right before uh, Black Friday deals or something like that, 
Like that could be a good like financial move on their part. I don't know. So it's 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 possible, but I still think uh, I still think we're not gonna see it this month. Stanley that gets banned for piloting the entire Marvel universe and all the characters. Yeah, dude. Uh, Tom was on a challenge with Chadwick for the Black Panther one. Yeah, that's right. Oh crap! I didn't realize I pushed Beast especially. Whatever. What are Modoc Labs? Um, they're like the occult labs, except they were like the the first first version of them. Uh, I might go for Aegon. I have a skill gem, and unless the unit deal for Cyber Monday is really good, I have a lot uh, of units from Black Friday. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I want to go, man. I need. I want a new champion. I want a new champion, pretty bad, guys. <laughs> it's 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 probably not gonna happen though, man. All these grinds, I just can't do it. I already burned my uh my my time budget for for these grinds for the year, basically. Unless something just lines up so perfectly with what I need, and uh, I just feel like I can't do any more feature grinds for the rest of the year. So we'll see. Uh, the champion with his foot on top uh, on the collector, everything aligns together. I'm going to grab Scooby and the gang, and we're going to figure out <laughs> figure this out, right, guy? All right, Jay, let me know what you and Scooby find, and bring back some Scooby snacks. I'm freaking hungry. Yeah. BG, want to open a five-star tonight? I'll send you some good luck. Uh, no. No way, dude. I'm waiting until Ghost gets added. I really want to get Ghost. That'd be awesome to uh, get Ghost as a five-star. She's not added to the crystals yet. And even even when she gets added, I still have to think about it. Like, I might still want to hold on to the crystals even longer. I don't know. The uh, thing is, I really don't need any attackers, just defenders. And I'm 99% sure he's going to be an offense-only champ. Probably. He does look more like an offensive champion. You're probably right. BG, you having the connection issues too? It's been happening to me all day, but only in Arena. Uh, I've seen the message come up on occasion, but like it never really... Like I never actually disconnect, and it goes away after just like a, a, a brief moment. So... Uh, doesn't doesn't seem to to be like a real issue. Not like not like it used to be, where like you would actually disconnect all the time. Remember that like uh, what was that like last month or was that two months ago now? I don't even know. But when the servers were going down like every single day, and I would have got away with it too if it wasn't for you meddling kids. All right, gang, let's split. Oh man. Oh, uh, please get a no. Oh, she's not gonna heal anyway. Yeah. Uh, also, cosmic champions are way more valuable on my defense because of Dusa hiding from space. Yeah, dude. That's that's the thing too, man. Is I have I have a Mystic Awakening gem, and it'd be nice to get another Mystic champion on defense. So, ah, uh, I am considering that. I think for Cyber Monday, we should get the typical Kabam deals, and for Black Friday, we should get actual deals, like 50% off unit packs. Uh, have they ever done that before? I can't remember if they've done that before. I I want to say they might have. 12 hours BG? Mo Battle Chips. I was looking at the schedule a little bit earlier, man. Yeah, buddy. I'm pumped for it, man. I'm pumped for it. Uh, I can see Aegon being like a mix between Hyperion and Iceman. I think... Because he only has one arm, and when he uses special abilities, he gets his arm back. And I want to say, like, each special ability is probably going to have, like, a different effect from his arm. That's what I'm thinking, at least. I don't know. I, 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 I mean, I think they even showed us more at Comic-Con in the video that they had. Uh, or not just Comic Con, like it's on it's on their official YouTube page if you guys want to see it too. But I I can't remember if uh, I can't remember if they ever went into more details about him or not. But that's what he, that's that's the vibe I got from. Him. They've had like gold rank up packages on Black Friday, I think. Gold rank up packages. Like where they just offer gold or something. Or? Uh, Mystic Champs are so few and far between. Yeah, yeah, they, they definitely need to add more Mystic Champions. 
Although, to be honest, I... It's hard for me to like Mystic Champions because I feel like I have to use Mystic Dispersion if I'm using a Mystic Champion and I don't want to use Mystic Dispersion, so... It kind of works out for me that they're not adding them, but for other people, and just for the, the class balance of the game, I want to see more Mystic Champions get added. Michi, you think Captain Beardo will go for 3.8 just like Corvus and Basic Arena? He might. I've got my prediction on screen. It's uh, My prediction is lower than that, but it's only a guess. Please go as high as you possibly can if you want to go for the champion. Don't actually know what, they're, what he's going to go for. I know I'm uh, going to be disappointed, but I'm still excited. That's exactly how I feel, Mobile Chips. I know, I, I know exactly. Like, it's not going to be what I'm looking for, but their announcements... Uh, I just get excited for BlizzCon every year, man. I don't even play any of their games right now, but something about it. I still get excited. Uh, all we really know about Aegon is his abilities are based on his combo meter somehow. Oh, are they? Okay, I must have forgotten about that. Uh, like Hunk of Iso Gold, I forget. Okay. I never understand Kabam's class marching uh, towards champions. Aegon could have been skilled before he lost his arm, etc. But the dude is literally glowing blue, uh, grows his arm uh, back, etc. And he's skilled WTF. Yeah, I mean, I th all right. Here's here's the thing. I think uh, when it comes to skill champions. I think it's probably tougher for Kabam to add cool skill champions, so I think whenever they have the opportunity to, they probably just do, you know? Um, cause, I mean, like, skill champions, if you look at most skill champions, they, they're just... Like, like Black Widow, okay, she punches and kicks, so does Daredevil, so does, like, all the, all the skill champions, you know? So if they could add some, like, cool effects to them... Uh, and and get like a unique character in there versus giving it to another like, like maybe that's why they do it at least. I don't know. That's just what I uh, think about it at least. I think he'll be immune to bleed, poison, and shock, and I think he'll have some ridiculous power gain and still not capability with strong attack as well. Oh, that sounds pretty overpowered, man. I don't know if they're gonna do all that for him. I don't know if they're gonna do all that. In the video, they say Aegon gets more and more uh, stronger as the combo meter increases. Okay. How good is Abomination? Good in defensive? Yeah, he's, he, Abomination is a really good defender. The only thing that, that makes Abomination not, like, a top-tier defender right up there with, uh, like, Infinity Man and, and Killmonger and stuff like that, the only thing that, that holds him back is he's not available as a 5-star except for the special offer that Kabam just released. Um, which is a super low chance to even get him. Um, but otherwise, he's a very, very strong defender. We were using him... I don't know if we still use him on defense anywhere, but we used to include a 4-star a A-bomb like no matter what in our defensive lineup uh, just because occasionally he would get kills. Just like he was a 5-star. Yeah, Blade is simply only punches and kicks. Well, I mean, Blade... Uh, Blade is another one of those special uh, characters where... Like, because I, I think Blade could have been something else too, right? Weren't people saying Blade could be like Mystic or something? Um, or I can't remember what people were saying Blade could have been. But yeah, Blade's another one of those where like... He's got some really cool abilities. So they... Um, at least that's that's what I would think is like them them trying to make the skill class a little bit cooler. He was like one of the one of the first ones to do that. Uh, Aegon will have class advantage over all classes and be immune to damage because he already won a contest, so he's better than us. Uh, that might be uh, a little too broken there, Hector. Maybe a little too broken. Also, Aegon's prestige is probably awful. Yeah, yeah. Jugs gets his power from a mystical gem in inside his helmet. Yeah. I actually know a tiny bit about Juggernaut. Uh, just just from talking to you guys enough about him. What's the name of the... 
Uh, I can't remember the name, the other, like the name of the thing that that gave him the power or whatever. Oh well. Cap is a military science project gone right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Karnak has something like that where he reduces the difference in class disadvantage. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Player, I want Apocalypse or Mr. Sinister or other mutant. Uh, those would be cool. I'm sure we're going to see uh, those added over time or something. The gem is Sidorak. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was, right? Sidorak is where Jug gets the power from. Yeah. ABG, I just opened my first feature five star crystal and I duped my Omega Red. Joseph, nice dude. Congrats on the Omega dupe. He's a beast when duped, man. Try to get him some Sig Stones. Uh, he's very powerful. He's very powerful. Uh, he has the belt BG. The ISO belt will give him all immunities. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but okay, if he's, if he, if he becomes stronger on combo meter, then he probably is an attacking champion. Because, I mean, think about Star-Lord. Like, nobody, nobody gives a, a damn about Star-Lord on defense, right? He's like one of the easiest champions to counter, but offensively, in the right hands, he is a freaking monster, so, yeah. Uh, then after players said Kabam would say, Kabam, you mean Nightwing as our creation? Uh... Yeah, I mean, I to me it doesn't matter who they add. So I I understand though. I know everybody wants their favorite characters to get added, but I don't know any of these characters anyway. I actually know quite a bit about Juggernaut. Wait, what's the name of the thing from the thing? Never mind, I don't remember. Well, okay, that was a bad example. That was a bad example. But I have heard of that stuff at least. Uh, like if somebody told me something about Juggernaut, I wouldn't be like. Oh, that's the first time I've heard that. Like, I know nothing uh, about it the way that I talk about every other character in this game, you know? But him and Unstoppable Colossus, like, I know a, 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 a tiny bit about them. It's a lot compared to the rest of my knowledge of this game. BG, will Nick Fury be skill, tech, or science? Nick Fury, that's, um... Uh... Samuel L. Jackson, right? That's That's Nick Fury, I think? In the movies? Uh, skill, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay. Anyway. It's time to call it for the night, guys. Counter Star-Lord by not getting hit. Yeah. Actually, okay. As I say that, though, for, for Star-Lord, there have been those times, and I'm sure it's happened to you guys as well, where, like, you accidentally get hit by, like, two combos in a row, uh, and suddenly Star-Lord hits you, like, really freaking hard. Um, there have been those times, but for the most part, I mean, he's easier than most. Uh... McFury is too good for a class. Fury would be skill for sure. Uh, wait. Goose Rider? Wait, what? Also, Emma Frost, too easy on 12. Didn't use for 12, but next node guy had unfazed, so in vulnerability, save me that fight. Nice. Um, Brian, look up Goose Rider. All right, fine. This is the last thing, and then I'm going, to, and then I'm, I'm out of here. Goose Rider. Oh my God. I feel like I feel like this is a character that Kabam would add. <laughs> Honk. <laughs> Oh, uh, this, they, they, I don't know if they'd call him Goose Rider. Maybe they'd be like Howard the Goose Rider or something. I know he's a duck and this is a goose, but still, it's close enough. Oh boy. Um, 
Alright, anyway. <laughs> I wouldn't mind seeing that in game. Uh, but okay, anyway guys, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Um, there was a bunch of Super Chats tonight. Anthony, uh, with the, the biggest one of the night. Thank you very much, dude. But thank you to everyone else who sent over a, uh, uh, some, some Super Chats as well. I really appreciate it, everyone who uh, sent over the generosity, man. Thank you. Um, Ghost Duck? Oh, there we go. I like, I like the name of that better, Ghost Duck. Uh, or maybe Duck Duck Ghost. No, that's terrible. That's a bad one. Don't go with that one. Howard the Rider. Is I'm Dell in PHC yet? I don't think so. Pretty sure he's not. You got Domino today. Does she need to be awakened? She does not need to be awakened. No. She can be used uh, without it. All right. Anyway, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I don't. I might try to do the three star. I might try to do the three star occult lab run tomorrow. Um, but I do want to watch BlizzCon, so I might not. Uh, so I got to keep up with with all the other stuff I'm doing too. That's gonna be my my fun time. Um, if I don't do the 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 three star thing tomorrow then I'll do it uh, the day after probably so Friday or Saturday we shall see uh, oh before you leave look up HQ Sean because it's now Mr. Julian okay yeah I did want to look that up alright hang on real quick hold up hold up it is Mr. Julian look at that man See, this is what I mean, guys. It's not that it's a bad name or whatever. It's just... Dude, that was HQ Sean. Like, imagine if Brutal DLX changed his name. You know, he was he was up there in, like... Like, HQ Sean was, was in, like, that level of player. You know, he was known. Ah. Oh, that makes me a little bit sad. That makes me a little bit sad. Um, but okay. Okay. The website will come out on a day that ends in Y. Never E. Oh my goodness. Okay. Anyway, though, I'm out of here, guys. <laughs> Let's go back to this damn egg that I'm not going to open. Uh, BG, make me famous and say my name? Sure, why not, Donnie Rice? Congratulations, you're now super famous. Be careful. I mean, you're not going to be able to go to a store anymore. It's going to be people, uh, <laughs> uh, the paparazzi and stuff. I'll report him for, for the, the IGN change. Dude, that makes me sad, man. He was HQ Sean. Um, but all right. Anyway, guys, I'll be back, uh, at the very least, my normal time tomorrow. Good night.